So John, what's this place called again? The North Florida Research and Education Center. It's a part of the University of Florida's agricultural research. Wow. And we're in Quincy, Florida. Look at that Chinese fan palm. So how old, how old is this one, John? You know, these palms, when I, first, when I worked here back in about 2003 or something like that, these guys were about, about this big. Wow. You know, this looks like the palm that was in the back of Marjorie's backyard. It makes a similar fruit. Yeah. They're, they're, it's a these, these get pretty tall, don't they? Some of them do. There's a dwarf type, and then there's a real tall type. But this is a Livestona, and there's a lot of... A lot of them are very similar to this. So how cold hardy are these two? You know, we, we've been, they've been through 13 and they burned the leaves, but it didn't kill them or anything. So if, what about if they're babies, can that, can that kill a seedling easily? Yeah, maybe. I probably wouldn't let a seedling go through 13. Yeah. You know, if the squirrels are tearing them off, they are, they love them. Has little needle palm. Yep. These little needles. Uh, what is this? Oh, Mazzara. This is the one from the. That one's from Cashmere. Wow. It's pretty impressive. Hindu palm. This this is called the. This is a different type. Botanical Garden of the Big Bend. Is hmm. what they call this garden. This place? Yeah. Well, just this garden. It's, part, it's going to research center. A lot of them greenhouses, though. Can you walk in there? No. Uh -huh. Not without permission. Yeah. They, they do all kinds of agricultural research out here. They got fields. Fields and fields of crops. They do. Every kind of crop you can think of. Look at this forward. like that. I've never seen one like that. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's a beautiful looking. I think I might have some of these if you want them. I'd grow some. Make a section for the palm, the psych guide. You know what that thing is? I do not know. That's the Sable, Louisiana. Wow. That's probably really old for having a trunk. We, we now know that sometime millions of years ago, the ancestor of the palmetto, Sable palmetto, hybridized with you know, Sable miner. And that's where like the Brazoria palmetto and the Sable Louisianas. They got a little bit of cabbage palm in them. But they're, they're super cold hardy. Um, for a trunking palm, they're probably about as cold hardy as it gets. And except maybe for a trachea carpus. Pretty cool. They grow, I've seen them in Louisiana with about a 10 foot, 10 foot trunk. And they got really fat trunks. That's a, that's a really old one. In the swamp, the trunks are like this, but when you grow them in the garden, they got a big fat trunk. They're pretty. Wow, sounds very pretty. What kind is this over here, John? That is uh, like a California fan palm. God, that California. trunk is so beautiful. Washingtonia doesn't love it in Florida. It likes it by the beach. So they need more salt. No, I think it's just the sandy. I don't know why they don't like it. I can't get them to go here. They always rot. Like 50 or 100 different species of magnolias over there across the street. Really? There's Marcia, looks like. That's another uh, needle palm? Like a multiple ones of them? Yeah, they, some of them cluster like that. Hmm. You know this one. Wow, that's growing here? Yeah. I don't know for how long. Wow, that's a tropical one. Yeah. That's the red, uh... No, that's triangle palm. Triangle one, that's a different one. They are, huh. they, are, they don't hardly take below 30. Well, maybe they'll cover it just to get it through. There's that Brazoria one. That's also a, kind of a similar palmetto minor hybrid, but it's from so many millions of years ago that it probably should be its own species. That's the one you're talking about? Yeah. It's probably... Pretty. They're not the same though, the Brazoria. This one, when they're old, these will actually look a lot like cabbage palms. It's hard to tell them apart. See how the, the leaves on the cabbage palms are a little more like a grass skirt kind of? Yeah. These never get quite that frilly. Keeps more straight.
Is that that uh, plant you gave me? It makes like a little banana a flower. Banana, banana shrub, probably. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know how big they got. But you had. Yeah. This he's got so he's got so many different kinds of. Plants. What kind was the one you gave me? Because it's about this big. It makes flowers. Yeah. I got it in the ground now. Just. I don't know. Mag, you think it's the same Magnolia species? Magnolia figo, maybe they call it. I don't remember. <laughs> banana yeah. shrub. I think, it's, I think they call that Magnolia Figo. So this flower on this one has a real, it feels like the banana candy smell. He's got all, the, a lot of these are garden hybrid. He's a horticultural scientist. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. He's got so many acres of it, I don't know if we'll be able to see it all today. I'm going to have to come back. These are Chinese... Um, like, like the western red cedar, but one from China. It's pretty looking. Yeah. Is this a... Uh, I think he's got a whole bunch of them. Yeah, you see the Suga Chinensis. No, that's not a western red cedar. What is that? Suga. Suga? Yeah. Whatever. Some kind of conifer. This place is pretty cool. It's uh Surprised not more people are... They're walking around, they just I, don't know about it. I gotta consult the Google. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Talk good about it. Yeah. I'll don't. make a YouTube video about it. Suga, what is Suga? So this one was called again. So it's 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 kind of frost tolerant. They also call it or it's like not frost tolerant. The mountain coconut or the high plateau coconut or something like that. So this is the one that's related to coconuts? Yeah, it is, but it comes from Madagascar instead of, wow. you know. Yeah, because it looks almost like a coconut. It really looks like a coconut when it gets bigger, but it's even bigger. Like, the, the leaves will be 20 feet long. It's even so how cold hardy is this? Probably about 25. So if you grew it in, like, a shelter place near a structure, you could get... Well, Wiley's had his down to 22. It freezes the leaves, but then they grow back. So it just pushes back out of the trunk. Yeah. That's that's impressive. Yeah. We'll so, have to get our hands on growing some of these. MB Palms has them. How big? He said he's got them to like 20 feet. Really? Giant ones, but I don't know if he wants to sell them. It'd probably be a million dollars. Probably. I was going to try to get like a five gallon or a seven gallon or something. I'd like to get I'd like to get one and plant. I, w I want to get one and hang a coconut. <laughs> Make it look like a real coconut. <laughs> you know, there's people that do that and it's, the people believe it. I know. I, you saw that one about the, the mango? They were like, you can't give up on them. They cut the mango down. It had a little sprout and they put a mango hook to it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah. I don't know which sable these are. He's, uh, they might be like Nuevo Leon, Tomalipas. I don't know. He doesn't know. Well, this one over here is pretty. And see out here, there's a lot of wind, so there's no wind blocking it. Or no thing to block the, the wind in the winter. Yeah. Like a wind block. It's still not as cold as my farm, though. Yeah. Do you think these are like rosy eyes or maritina? I, I don't. I guess there's more than one kind of palm in here. He doesn't know what they are. He might get some cross pollination from these being so oh, yeah. close together. It's gonna be some kind of hybrid swarm here. Boy, that sure looks like a 